Hello, sis, and welcome back. I'm Gabby, and today I'll be sharing with you my current travel watercolor kit. Okay, to give you a bit of a background, when I was beginning this journey, I originally wanted to have a limited 12 color set, um, just because I had a palette laying around with cheap watercolors, and I really wanted to just switch that out, put some professional watercolors, because it was like, it, the palette itself was just in perfect shape and what I wanted. But then I got gifted this amazing 36 full pan set by my brother, Matthew. Thank you so much again for it. Um, and I just couldn't go back. However, I didn't want to be traveling with all 36 colors. Plus, even just using it at home, the pan the palette is just huge. It just used up, takes up the majority of my desk. So there was that. Um, so of course I just had to downsize. I didn't want to splurge a lot of money. Plus there wasn't many travel friendly palettes for full pan sets, especially with the mount that I wanted to bring. So alrighty, here we are with my new and improved setup. I have two different setups depending on the situation and the space I have. So I have a 15 full pan setup and a 24 full pan setup. And here is the 15 pan setup. I actually went to dollar store and bought a metal gift card tin and this container um, that I end up using as well. And the great thing about this container is that it has a magnet on the bottom, so it attaches to the palette and it stays in place and it's really great for traveling when I'm trying to keep everything together. But I also like to store my rag in there, not only for convenience, but to absorb the rest of any water residue left over. Um, I just love how slim and portable this set is, and it really provides me all the colors I need without really limiting me. However, I do wish this container, though, had a hinge on it, um, just, just for easiness for me, honestly. But I was able to fix that just by using a binder clip and attach the lid to the palette. Uh, the good thing about this palette, though, is later on if I wanted to switch out these full pans, I could use half pans instead and I could fit so much more colors and still be packing light. So in order to not have the pans move around without the use of magnets, I inserted a piece of cloth, which I could have used a sponge and that would also work. It just helps keep them in place and also I could just wipe away any paint on my brushes. Uh, I also even cut these paint brushes down in hopes to fit it in the pan, but it just didn't work out, unfortunately. As for my 24 pan setup, I bought this scrapbook plastic container from Michaels for about 3 to $4 with my 40% off coupon. And oh my gosh, I do, I love this setup. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's damn close to it. There's so many things I like about this set. Not only am I able to store my watercolors, but I'm able to store my brushes and my pens and pencils and so on. It's just so portable and it's so easy just to grab it and get out of the house. And the mixing area is a great size too. I was actually thinking of spray painting it white, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me and I just like it clear, so there's that. <laughs> but yeah, the way I went about securing the watercolors was definitely different. I tried inserting a cloth, but that definitely didn't work out. So instead I got some watercolor paper, covered it with masking tape, then hot glued it in. The good thing though about this is I'm still able to remove it without damaging the container itself. I do think next time I would want to put a sponge instead maybe, I'm not sure. Um, the only downside though about this is it's still, not, it w still even then, is not secure. Like if I were to flip this over or something, it, all the pans would fall out. Um, I would have to put an adhesive or something, but I wanted the ability to still remove them um, and be able to put them back into their original palette if needed be. But yeah, so with this watercolor set, I just love it. I have all the colors I need. I don't really have to do like mess with the mixing so much. Um, just because sometimes you just don't really want to deal with that, you know, when you're working. But yeah. Anyways, so those are my travel palettes. I really hope I was able to give you guys some ideas. Please comment down below and share your like what you do for your DIY setups and tips. I absolutely love hearing about how other people do their setups. Um, I'm actually playing on a new upgrade from this setup and I'm building up my watercolor selection and I'm also waiting on the new palette to be sent to me. Um, so stay tuned for that. And anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!